I have nothing personal against Eminem. My comments on the Joe Button podcast had nothing to do with Mr. Marshall Mathers personally. And I want Mr. Marshall Mathers to understand that Dr. Umar Ifatunde harbors no personal ill will towards you. This is not personal. This is business. This is not personal. This is business. Eminem, I want you to hear me, young man. This is not personal. This is business. You are a talented musician, lyricist, producer. You seem like you are an okay guy. You've never done nothing to me, and you've never done anything that I personally witnessed to be worthy of condemnation. So my comments are not personal. They apply to any non-African. This is about business, the business of protecting the integrity of African culture. I said my comments on the Joe Button podcast was about business, not personal. The business of protecting the sacredness, authenticity, and integrity of African culture. I said that no non-African can ever be the best of anything in African culture. You can't be the best cook of African food. You can't be the best rapper of African hip hop. You can't be the best singer. You can't be the best priest of African culture. Nothing we create can a non-African be the best at. First of all, it makes absolutely no sense at all. I don't even see how an African can come to the conclusion that a non-African can be the best at anything when we are the oldest people. We are the first people and we are the most numerous people. So when you say a non-African is better at X, Y, and Z than a member of the race, you're saying that this person can do this better than two billion Africans. Or you're saying not only can they do it better than two billion Africans on the planet, you're saying they can do it better than all of the billions of Africans that have ever walked the planet Earth. You know and I know that that is absolutely ridiculous. You know and I know that that is absolutely ridiculous. You know, like I know, that that is absolutely ridiculous. And from a cultural integrity perspective, from a cultural integrity perspective, this is not about Mr. Marshall Mathis. I don't have nothing personal against that man. But from a personal, from a, excuse me, from a cultural integrity perspective, haven't they stolen enough from us? Haven't they appropriated enough from us? Haven't they robbed, steal, killed, enslaved, lynched, miseducated, mass incarcerated, politically dominated us enough that you mean to tell me that after 404 years, you got black people running around playing defense attorney and cheerleader for white folks? You got black people running around after 404 years playing defense attorney and cheerleader. The fact that you got black people arguing for a white man to be considered the greatest of all time in an African art form speaks to how psychologically ill we are as a race of people. After all we have been through in this country, you got black men, black men running around playing defense attorney for white folks, advocating for Marshall Mathers, nothing against Eminem personally, but for a black person to go out of their way to fight for any white person to be considered the greatest of all time in an art form that should be sacred to our community, our culture, and our people is absolutely ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. But let me address the Caucasian community. Because I've been called racist probably a thousand times today. And I don't mind. I absolutely do not mind. Because there's a few things we know. After a thousand years of direct interaction with Caucasians, there's a few things we do know.
One thing we know about you is you're not honest about anything if it jeopardizes your power and control of other groups. Let me say that one more time. I'm talking to all you Caucasians who saw fit to have a temper tantrum on my timeline. I'm talking to all you Caucasians who saw fit to flood my inbox. I'm talking to all you Caucasians who...